Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Chow Chow. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Chow Chow History The Chow Chow is an ancient dog breed thought to have originated in Mongolia or northern China. Artifacts resembling Chow Chows have been found in Han Dynasty pottery and paintings. The Chinese aristocracy utilized the Chow Chow as a sporting dog to hunt pheasant and partridge. In the late 1700s, English traders brought miscellaneous cargo from the Far East that they had called Chow Chow. Because the dogs were occasionally a part of that cargo, the name eventually caught on. These dogs have been known as sled pullers, hunters, livestock guarders and, sadly for them, dinner. These oriental dogs first appeared in the US about 1890, and became famous in England during the Victorian era. In fact, Queen Victoria fell in love with the breed. In England, a breed club was founded in 1895. In 1903, the American Kennel Club, AKC, officially recognized Chow Chows as a breed and Yan Hao was first Chow registered. As always, the pros are up first. Watchdog, despite their small size and classification, these dogs are excellent watchdogs that are well aware of their surroundings. Calm and confident, if you're searching for a stern dog, this could be the right breed for you. City Dog, this low activity doggy is perfect for city and apartment dwellers. Mannerly at home, these dogs don't make a lot of noise at home, so they won't make your house into chaos. Loyal, they will be loyal to the end once they accept a family and become a part of it. Because of its protective nature, this breed can be aggressive towards strangers and other dogs. Family Protector, because of their protective instincts, they make excellent guard dogs. They can do anything to safeguard their home and loved ones. This is the ideal dog to bring to your home if you have cats and want your dog to get along with them. Low exercise requirement, chows only need one moderate walk a day. If you're couch potato, this works. Tidy, besides some seasonal shedding, these dogs are the cleanest of dogs. Now it's time for some cons. Aggressive, they will be loyal and protective, but if not properly trained and socialized they can become aggressive and territorial. Decision makers, these dogs have their own thoughts. As a result, any interference with their decision may result in problematic conduct. Grooming, they require frequent grooming, so if you're not looking for a high maintenance animal, this may not be the best choice. They are known to be behaving poorly to strangers, children, and other animals. This is one of the main reasons they get abandoned so much. Hard to train, Chow is a highly clever dog, but they are difficult to train, which is a disadvantage. They don't know how to interact with children. If you have children in the house, having a Chow is not the best idea. They can be dangerous to visitors. Their innate aggressive tendency drives them to assault visitors and house guests. If you're a first-time dog owner, try and get some other dogs instead of a Chow Chow. For someone who has never dealt with dogs before, they will be challenging to handle. Chow highly territorial and protective nature can make them good watchdogs and quite suspicious of strangers. Prey drive. If you have other pets, tread with caution. They have serious hunting history and may be predatory towards smaller animals. Health issues. Unfortunately, this breed has a long list of medical and health issues that might concern you and increase your vet bill. Interesting facts. They are known as Songsha Kwan in northern China, which literally translates to puffy lion dog. Elvis Presley and his girlfriend Linda Thompson had a Chow Chow named Getlo. An Austrian neurologist named Sigmund Freund used his Chow dog Joe Fi to analyze his patient's mental health because he felt that dogs can effectively discern your state of mind due to their special senses. Martha Stewart owns several Chows, one of which is named Genghis Khan and is frequently seen on Martha's shows. Appearance. These stocky dogs have a large, flat head with a broad, deep muzzle and a flaring, wide black nose. They have a powerful, square body, deep chest, and nearly straight hind legs because to their large bone structure. Chow dogs are available in two coat types, rough and smooth. Both types of chow will have a thick, wool-like undercoat. 
Rough coat chows are the most common variant with the thick and abundant overcoat standing proud from the body. Coat that is smooth chows have a dense, softer outer coat that doesn't have the thicker areas of feathering. It comes in a variety of colors, including red, black, blue, cinnamon, and cream. It could be solid colors, or solid with lighter shadings in other areas of its body. Chow stands between 17 and 20 inches tall at the shoulder. It weighs anywhere from 45 to 70 pounds. Chows that don't have a blue tongue yet appear like them aren't purebred chows. Chow chows, on the other hand, do not have their distinguishing blue tongues from birth. Chows have pink tongues with the black coloring developing as they get to about 8 to 10 weeks old. The usual lifespan of a chow chow is 8 to 12 years. Its weight plays a huge role in its lifespan, as obesity can shorten a dog's lifespan. Grooming Brushing your dog's teeth twice a week and trimming his nails once a month are also recommended. Dental problems are more common in chow chows than in other dog breeds. Unless your dog enjoys roughhousing in the mud, bathing should only be done once a month. This breed requires thorough brushing, at least twice a week. It will make sure their coat does not get matted. Shedding Chows are known to shed a lot and aren't known to be hypoallergenic. They will shed heavily during the seasons changing, and during this time, their furry coat will require extra attention. Chow should be brushed two or three times a week on average, with the rough coat chow require more frequent brushing. On the majority of the body, a stainless steel cob with medium coarse teeth, with a slicker brush on the legs and a medium pin brush on the coat's rough areas. Cost on average a chow puppy will cost $2,250 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $850 and $3,800. The average price of a chow puppy in India is around 30,000 to 50,000 rupees. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability. Chows only requires moderate exercise and can be content with daily 15-minute walks, along with some activities that will enhance the human pet link. In order to keep healthy and fit, it is important that he satisfies the daily physical need. Keep in mind that chows do not tolerate severe heat or humidity well, so go for a walk early in the morning or after the sun sets in the afternoon. Chows are known for being independent and aloof, so training them can be difficult. They need a consistent owner who will keep the training engaging. Positive reinforcement strategies such as food rewards and praises should be used in order to earn their respect. As a responsible owner, you should never employ harsh punishments like beating or other forms of physical abuse. This style of training will never work with Chows, or practically any dog for that matter. Chow is a non-sporting dog that was developed for guarding cart pulling and hunting. Chow is not speedy, so it's not the finest jogging or running companion. However, it has a great level of endurance, therefore making it a great walking buddy. Chows may struggle to trust owners who train aggressively, therefore it's better to avoid it. Intelligence, Chows are intelligent dogs, but they can also be stubborn and independent. According to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Chow Chow is ranked 76. Understanding of new commands 100 to 500 repetitions and obeys first command 20% of the time or better. Swimming, chows were not designed to swim. They are not fans of water, and most will go out of their way to avoid water. Their thick double coat gets easily waterlogged and weighs them down so they get exhausted very quickly. Although most chows actively avoid water, extreme caution should be exercised when these dogs are near deep water. Barking. Chow Chows aren't known for barking excessively or being loud in general. Many owners will notice that their Chows only bark in specific conditions, such as when they see something new or feel threatened. Weather and Climate Excessive heat and high temperatures are not good for Chow Chows. They have a difficult time surviving in locations where the weather is notoriously hot. If the temperature outside the house is too hot for them, their exercise sessions should be avoided. These dogs were designed specifically for chilly climates. Their endurance for cold is incredible. And they always have a great time while playing in a snowy and wintry environment. These dogs are ideal for persons who live in a cold or low temperature environment. Friendliness 
Chow Chows get along nicely with kids who have grown up with them. However, because this breed doesn't accept teasing or excessive handling well, it is not suitable for families with little children or toddlers. Chows thrive better in families with older children who are familiar with how to care for them. Adaptability Chows are easily adaptable dog that will thrive in various environments, from small apartments to lavish palaces. Chow Chows can quickly adapt to a variety of environments as long as they are given enough physical and mental activity. However, you must keep in mind that Chows must be kept indoors regardless of where they dwell. They make excellent guardians, so keep them close to you and your family. Chow Chows are loyal to only one or two people, despite the fact that they get along with everyone in the household. They may develop separation anxiety if they are left alone for long periods of time. Providing them with toys will keep them occupied while you are away. Guard slash watch dog. Chows are pretty decent guard dogs as they are quite loyal and protective of their close ones. This breed is known for being extremely devoted to those they love and distrustful of people they don't know. Chows will not be vicious or violent with dogs or humans until the situation demands it with correct training and socialization. Their watchdog ability is also quite good as they can protect their owners in case of an intruder or a burglar. Drooling Chows aren't droolers in the extreme, but they do salivate a lot when they're about to eat or smell something delicious cooking in the kitchen. Aside from that, they don't drool nearly as much as we do. Health Issues Chow Chows can develop hip and elbow dysplasia, cancer, diabetes mellitus, patellar luxation, autoimmune thyroiditis and eye disorders such as cataracts and glaucoma, despite their usually good health. They may also suffer from stomach cancer and gastric torsion. Chow is a brachycephalic breed, they also snore and can be subject to stenotic nares and developing an elongated palate. Spaying or neutering your chow can also decrease the risk of certain diseases, such as cancers. Have you had any experience with Chow Chow? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.